Today, I present a poem of mine that's in English and uh, this very poem was published in a local English daily. Today, that's on 24th July 2022. Here I go. It's entitled, This is the Verse. The reflective glint of placid lake. The reflective glint of placid lake shimmered in her eyes. The reflective glint of placid lake shimmered in her eyes as the hull like smile materialized on my lips. Like the first sight of land, greeting weathered eyes of voyagers. Shimmering passion of her eyes beckoned the arc of my dreams to cast the anchor of hope and deluge battered skeptic eyes saw the imagery pigeons alight on my shoulders while I surveyed the Ararat hills of genes and genesis. The reflective glint of placid lake shimmered in her eyes as the hull-like smile materialized on my lips like the first sight of land greeting withered eyes of voyagers. Shimmering passion of her eyes beckoned the arc of, arc of my dreams to cast the anchor of hope and deluge battered skeptic eyes saw the emissary pigeons alight on my shoulders while I surveyed the Ararat hills of genes and genesis. Thus whiffed the recitation. Thus whiffed the recitation from the mint flavored lips on date. I know not why. My heart is enamored today. I know not why. My heart is enamored today by Galib's couplet. Tere hi jalve ka hai ye dokha ki aaj tak be ikhtiyar dore hai gul warf ka hai gul. Even today, the deception of your display this facade resembles you at this moment. Unbridled, they all seem racing towards you. All these creepers, roses, and rose lovers, too. Precious were those moments spent on the verdure, watching stars twinkle that night in the canopy of her eyes when raiment wrinkled after lips met first time when her heaving countenance ashamed when her heaving countenance ashamed nature's canvas of hues and aroma that roses boasted of in the garden gliding in the lake Dark cloak of sky too got embellished when tardy ones ushered to haste, raced to the front for the fuller view of us. O little naughty stars, I know you all. Your girly giggles and feathery footfalls. Avoiding eye contact on parting at times betrays both the seer and the seen when eyes meet on lookers to hear the symphony dales bloom to betray the pair in solitude to fall outpaced the spring alas fall outpaced the spring alas crossroads loomed large a 
class. What labels we humans are made to wear, I wonder. Compartmentalized, divided, torn asunder. Now dream alone affords refuge to hounded sinners till coffin-like eyes are shut and shrouding sweat-soaked flesh. Memories old, paltry sold, oh, dreams of yore, what callous providence had in store makes us scream and weep up the Golgotha steeps. Parochial priests put us on cross, knowing too weak we are for resurrection. At sunset age, when we reap the headless crop in famished lands, situated afar, where head bent alone we stand today, each reciting unto self the verses of the verses of Robert Louis Stevenson's poem Requiem, quoted by Philip Larkin too. We had memorized on the leaves of Nassim Bar. Under the wide and starry sky, dig the grave and let me lie. Glad did I live and gladly die, and I laid me down with a will. This be the verse you grave for me. Here he lies where he longed to be. Here he lies where he longed to be.